Hello, welcome to Linda Likes Tarot. Hi, my name is Linda. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, what's up? I'm glad that you're back. Okay, so today this reading is going to be for whoever it's meant to be for. So please be your own leader of discernment while watching this general reading. Not everything is going to resonate with you and that is okay. So pick up what does and drop the rest for someone else to appreciate. Capiche, capiche. Listen, I hope you guys are having a lovely um, Sunday afternoon we're gonna tap into this energy and see what we got going on i really hope you guys are enjoying your weekend okay i hope you guys are truly finding time to relax okay and self-reflect and process the things you need to process because i feel like whoever this reading is for something's about to take off and it's about to take off fast so it's like take advantage of this time Ooh. Because somebody here about to be real busy soon. Hold on. Let me get this situated. Okay. Alright. So, as I was getting ready to do this reading, um, a lot of things started happening that was weird. Okay. First off, the nail or my um, nail broke on my thumb okay then i try to click on the camera and then my camera just kept showing like a really darkened screen um which it normally doesn't do that it's not doing it now because i turned my phone off and then i turned it back on and then it went back to what it's supposed to be like i could see myself okay um i don't know it was just weird and then what else happened I think that was it but um oh, that's symbolic okay so maybe maybe there's something here where someone could have maybe somebody did something here where they were trying to get you not to see you for who you are okay because I just said now I can see I could see me now so I don't know something about that could be significant also yesterday I kept feeling like this weird strong pull in my solar plexus chakra all right like you know that pit that pit in your stomach feeling um it was like a combination of anger and and anxiousness but it would like come in waves like out of nowhere i wasn't i wasn't even doing nothing either i was just like chilling um and then out of nowhere i would get those feelings and i'm just like that's not my energy and i definitely know that's not my energy i don't know what the hell that was but I don't like it. Whatever it is, I cancel and rebuke it in the mighty name of Jesus. Can we get the gong? Can we gong it? Okay. Um, I also feel like with that energy, it's like someone here could be angry at you. Okay. So for some of you, you guys could be experiencing a lot of situations where, you know, you're encountering with people and they're kind of just, they're kind of, like the exchanges you have with people uh, something about the exchanges are off like you you might be coming to someone like with kindness and niceness and you're getting hit instantly back with like disrespect or something or people being rude to you i think it's this energy that someone is sending you okay i don't necessarily think it's those people that have an issue with you or whatever um it's just like it's like you're running into people who have negative attitudes or like bad attitudes or something like that. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Um, for some of you, it could just be the fact that you're ascending and your your energy, your aura, um, maybe triggering people. Okay, that's a thing that happens. Um, I also feel like the same person that's angry at you, they're also anxious about something. That's what I feel like is going on. You guys could be picking up on this weirdo's energy. This could be the same person that's been trying to bind themselves to you. This could be family, lover, business, friend um, that may be trying to do this to you because they know that you're about to you're about to embark on a new journey, a new phase in your life where you're going to have more peace, more tranquility. And, you know, during this transition from the old to the new, someone here is desperately trying to make your life a living hell before you, you enter paradise. Okay. Um, also, when I woke up this morning, I literally heard the words, that's not an alibi. That's not an alibi. 
So I don't know what that means. It's going to mean something to someone, I guess. I don't know. Listen, I'm not in any legal situation, so I don't know. Maybe somebody had an alibi. Maybe um, maybe this doesn't have to be about court or anything. This could just be about like somebody that you're dating or somebody here that, you know, is your friend or whatever. Maybe they told you they were somewhere when they weren't. And someone here could have been, you could have checked out the person's alibi. Like they, maybe they said, oh, I went to Johnny's house at seven. And then you called Johnny and Johnny's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't hang out with, with Jeffrey at seven. I don't know. Something like that could be happening. Child. Another thing too, while I was getting ready, okay, to do this, I channeled the song. Um, uh, fuck, I don't know what it's called. The part that I kept hearing was, I got addicted to a losing game. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know how the lyrics go, okay? But that's all I kept hearing. I got addicted to a losing game. So it's like, I don't know if this is your energy. Okay, because for some of you, maybe you're realizing, maybe you're reflecting and you're realizing like you truly were addicted to a losing game or being in a relationship, right? That's codependent, right? Maybe you're realizing like, oh, I was, I was addicted to thinking I can change somebody or I was addicted to thinking I can help heal this person or I was addicted to thinking that this person was going to change in some way, okay? Or our relationship was going to get stronger, you know, if I decided just to continue to pick put up with shit that I I know that is um, something that I don't deserve to put up with or something like that, okay? That could be a significant situation for some of you. Or maybe you're watching me and you're currently in a relationship that's um, that there's codependency there. And maybe you're realizing, okay, that's what it is. Um, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Another way that I'm seeing this as well, it's like... Um, this could be the your ops, okay? These this could be your ops who are definitely trying to send you negative energy. It's like they were they're 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 realizing it's a losing game to attack you spiritually and to lie on you and to slander you and to try to sabotage you and to pay people, you know, to do things to you, blase blase. That's for some of you, not all y'all, depending on how high this person's obsession is with you, okay? Um but this person, this person has come to terms that it is a losing game, but they don't care. They're addicted to attacking you. And I think it's because of your energy. It's like, um, whoever you are right now, the, the level of ascension that you're on. Okay. This could be because everyone's on different parts of their journey. Okay. So for whoever this reading is for, um, you guys could be right now, your energy whatever level you just fucking ascended to you are attracting very low vibrational people right now but that's because they need their their, their soul is needing your energy and and not to suck off of it's it's like god is almost trying to get these people to come to you so that you can heal them in some way okay i don't know what type of maybe this is some jesus stuff i don't know <laughs> i don't know but what i do know is that um the way your energy is set up right now, um, people subconsciously are gravitating towards you because um, subconsciously you have you have an energy that they need to to help um, activate something within them to start some sort of healing or um, something like that is going on. Okay, especially if you're a messenger, you receive messages from from the divine. Um, people are going to be crossing your path soon, uh, that are going to be sent to you. Okay. Like their soul is so subconsciously being gravitated towards you because the divine has already, it's something here about like the divine is orchestrating like certain people to come on your path. Okay. So that you, he could speak through you to them. Does this make sense? For some of you, you you're going to understand what i'm saying like you this is going to be situations where you're like out and about okay and you're like getting groceries or something i don't know that's for some of you not all y'all okay 
child. That was just an example too. I'm not... Anyway, so let's see what this song says. I know I've channeled this song before. Um, but yeah, I, I heard it again, so... So it starts off by saying, A broken heart is all that's left. I'm still fixing all the cracks. It says, Lost a couple of pieces when I carried it, carried it, carried it home. I'm afraid of all I am. My mind feels like a foreign land. It says, Silence ringing inside my head. Please carry me, carry me, carry me home. And then it goes, I've set, I spent all of the love I saved. We were always a losing game. Small town boy in a big arcade. I got addicted to a losing game. Oh, by the way, this, this song is called Arcade and it's, it's by Duncan Lawrence. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah. Oh, it says, all I know, loving you is a losing game. How many pennies in the slot? Giving us up didn't take a lot. I saw the end forge it be gone. Still I carried, carried, carry on. I don't need your games. Game over. Get me off this roller coaster. Some of you are tired of somebody's games, okay? Or you're tired of like cycles in general. Like you're tired of the of these karmic cycles because for some of you since this is like like i said we're in the middle of a transition between the old to the new um cycle it's like you guys could be also experiencing like you're you're running into situations where it's like oh this is a i can i recognize this pattern of this cycle i recognize what's happening and then you have to like it's almost like you're being put in situations where you have to like it's like pop quizzes you're being put in situations where it's like a pop a pop quiz when it comes to like the car the, the the karmic lessons you have learned so far it's almost like the divine is like have, have you learned this one do you remember this one do you remember this test <laughs> like i don't know something like that could be happening for some of you okay it's almost like the divine is uh seeing like are you truly over this type of toxic ass um cycles okay i'm also getting something about a trauma bond i don't know if there's someone here who wants to come in and trauma bond with you like they want that they want to put you in a, to a toxic abusive cycle okay um if you don't know what a trauma bond is please look it up okay trauma bonds have a lot less to do with love and a lot more to do with obsession and addiction addicted to a losing game okay um loving you is a losing game I Oh yeah, there was more. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Loving you is a losing game. Um. You guys could be seeing the angel number one, two, three a lot. You guys could be seeing three, three, three a lot. You definitely could be seeing eight, 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 four eights in a row. We're gonna look this up. And this book called The Spiritual Meanings of Numbers by Belle Montel. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but you can find it on Amazon. I'm going to put a link somewhere down in the comments or in the live chat. Okay. Let's see. Let's go to the number. Eight, 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 eight. A major message for you. You are getting what you are owed. Damn. <laughs> okay. Look at that. That's the number. Okay. Angels have got your back. The presence of 8888 in your life should reassure you that a large amount of good fortune is coming. You are finally reaping the rewards of all that hard work and you have been that you have been doing. There will be a positive change in your luck, but you need to be diligent, focused, and persevering to make the most of these positive vibrations. All right. Now is not the time to dwell on past pains or grieving or grievance grievances. Instead, embrace positive thinking and the abundance that is starting to arrive. Reach out to coworkers, friends, and family to share your good fortune. Now is the time to network and prepare for the next phase. Another essential aspect to consider is renewal. With the vibrations of 8888, 
Use this opportunity to renew spiritual vows and rediscover your spiritual gifts. It says link to the energies 8888. Um, basically turns into the number five. So there's some sort of change that's coming through, okay? Baby boo, there's a change coming through. Okay. It says holds a promise of positive change particularly in terms of finances. It's time to leverage personal freedom and material accu acclimation energies to achieve financial stability and prepare for the next step of challenges ahead. It says stay strong with the knowledge that the universe has your back. Don't be afraid. Push your limits. Push it to the limit. Limit! <laughs> we have... What your future holds is good fortune and financial windfalls are around the corner. Okay. What you can do. Okay. With this energy is um, through journaling and other forms of therapy, process grudges and traumas. All right. Pursue positive life choices and habits on a day to day basis and visualize fully the end product of your projects and dreams and network thoughtfully okay what else what else what else um i also was picking up something here about uh fentanyl i don't know moving on i also was picking up something here about pda public displays of affection is of significance maybe you for if you guys are single okay maybe well yeah well maybe if you're in a relationship too maybe your partner is gonna be um doing that they're gonna be ha displaying affection to you publicly or something like this okay or if you're single you might be meeting someone who is like this all right um they could be very affectionate very touchy or something um Or maybe this is what you're like. I don't know. I also have been seeing a lot of top hats. Like how um, Abraham Lincoln used to wear those top hats. Usually they depict like magicians wearing top hats as well. Illusionists. So I don't know. Something about that is significant. Be, be wary of illusions. I also feel like someone here is about to crash out. I don't know if this is like a vehicle crash out, which I, I do not. This is not what I'm hoping for. But someone here might. I don't know. Someone's going to crash out. Maybe this is regarding the fentanyl or some sort of droog. I don't know. Or someone here is going to crash their vehicle or something like that. I, I, this is not what I'm hoping to happen. This is what I'm picking up. Also... Um, someone's name could be Mickey or Mick, okay? Someone's name could be like Mrs. D. Someone's, <laughs> someone's last name could be Mrs. D or Mickey D or McDonald's could be very significant. Um, someone here definitely drives a truck. I keep picking up a black truck. Someone drives a black truck. Um, someone here could really love drinking monster energy drinks or energy drinks in general, okay? I'm also getting like, there, there's a monster that's about to like come out of somebody, okay? Or that's how someone is viewing you. I don't know. Like you're, someone could be viewing you like as if you changed or they're, I don't, I don't know. Or someone here might see the monster come out of you, okay? Because you, maybe you guys have someone here that's trying to uh, get under your skin or get you to react to something. I'm also getting like, I kept picking up something here about Noah's Ark, like in the Bible. You know how like when you, to me, I feel like the Bible is very valuable. I do feel like it's rooted in truth. So, but I feel like you can interpret the Bible literally, historically, or metaphorically. And I feel like with this Noah Ark story, it's giving, if you look at it from a um, metaphoric standpoint, it's giving like, um, 
a warning before the storm situation for some of you, you could have been out here like noah like trying to save people like hey come over here <laughs> come over here where it's safe or hey i'm just trying to prepare you for you know this and that like trying to give people warnings um trying to send out these warnings to people before disaster and or this is something that's already happening maybe you already sent out these warnings and before to to help people with some sort of disaster maybe they didn't listen or maybe some people did but um you're about to see how that applies in your life i feel like someone here could be a leo or they could have leo somewhere in their chart this could be you or someone else baby okay something here is about to get illuminated something here is about to be exposed when it comes to like maybe some sort of warning maybe you warned someone about something Maybe they didn't, maybe they brushed you off or they didn't, they didn't take it seriously or maybe they felt like what you were saying didn't hold any weight and now they're going to realize it, it in fact does hold weight. Um, uh, I also, I'm also getting something here about, um, you know that saying, don't light yourself on fire just to keep others warm. Something like that is significant. There's a need for somebody to really put on their oxygen mask first. Okay? Because I feel like you've already gave people... Oh my god, it ties together. I feel like whoever this is for... Hold on. I feel like whoever this is for... You've already given warnings to whoever this person or people are. Okay, so... I feel like the, the same people that you gave warnings to, maybe they neglect, they neglected or dismissed this warning and in the midst of disaster, you might have a couple of them running to you for help, but you're being advised to not help because you need to save yourself. Like you're, you giving the warning was enough, if this makes sense. Okay. Um... Something here about your willpower is very significant. Also, um, you know how like in old paintings, like you'll see like these men, you know, in olden times, like have their have their hand in their shirt like this. Let me see, because I feel like you <laughs> I feel like someone's not gonna understand what I'm saying. Sometimes my words don't be wording. Let me see. Um Like this see how they all have their hand inside their um, shirt like that something about that significant okay why don't we keep picking up Napoleon um these are like paintings of like noble men at the time or something. Something here about you having um, high moral principles and ideals and values is going to pay off in some way. I don't know. So, something that maybe that's going to be illuminated. Maybe someone was trying to say you're not of high moral standing or. I don't know. We have sixth house okay so something here about maybe your place at work is of significance your health 
something here about someone's abdomen, intestines could be significant. Someone here could be a Virgo. This could be you or someone else. Someone here could be a Virgo Leo cusp or a Leo Virgo cusp. Um, I'm also getting like, whoever you are, you should be like proud of yourself because you you're a go-getter whatever you do it's very you uh, whatever you do on your daily routine it's like you you have it in you to be self-motivated which a lot of people don't fucking have um and i feel like whoever you are the reason why whatever motivates you is probably has a lot to do with you know your your values your morals your principles you live by i don't know there's a, something here about you Staying disciplined and having some sort of routine is really going to help you out in some way. I don't know why I keep moving this freaking camera. Maybe maybe it's like people are seeing you differently or in a different perspective. Maybe someone here didn't think you were self-motivated or a self-starter. Um, maybe someone here didn't think you, someone was questioning your, your morals or what's your value ah we got fourth house this could be your own dirty ass family who's doing this who knows that's for some of you not all y'all we got mars okay so somebody here uh could be trying to negatively affect your confidence as well okay with the leo card out here leos are very fiery they're very confident okay within themselves they're very action oriented um They could definitely, a lot of Leos that I've met, they always have like this, this aura around them that's very like regal, okay? Um, something here about your presence does something to other people. Like other people don't like it for some reason. Someone here could be 64 years old or 46. Something here about the number nine is significant. You could be a life path nine, you could be a life path four or six. Or this is just somebody in your family that doesn't like that you have confidence or something. This is almost like, this could be like a sibling of yours that could have always been like picking on you when you guys were growing up or something like that. This could be even an older sibling for some of you. And now that you're grown or something and you're off living your own life, like this sibling could feel some type of way about it. Okay. Or this could even be like a childhood friend. Okay. Or someone here that you were truly close with, like family. For some of you, you guys could be working in, a, in an environment where, where, or in a company where they say like, oh, we're not a company, we're family. This could be like a weird toxic dynamic, a, a toxic work environment where nobody knows, doesn't know what boundaries mean or something. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Whatever it is, you got someone angry. Maybe somebody's angry about your home and work life because the fourth house is about your you could represent your home sixth house could represent work so something about that dynamic someone's upset about it okay it's because of how you're being perceived i guess it always goes back to that and i feel like for whoever you are i don't think you really give a fuck about that i feel like this person cares more about that than you do but that's because the way this person's uh, mind is set up and the way they operate that's why it's important to them this person could have very narcissistic type of um characteristics to them maybe this person really cares about how other people see them and perceive them this could be someone who's still stuck in the 3d that you're dealing with don't have to be though no it that's what it seemed like or this could have been somebody here who's like upset because they were trying really hard to make you look like the bad guy in a situation but it's like your your whatever you do for work or whatever you have going on with your home life i guess is proving this person's uh, accusations otherwise that's for some of you not all y'all um i'm also getting like in this new phase that you guys are going to be stepping in like your confidence is going to go up the roof or something like that and someone's really upset about this this person could be a gemini that's feeling this way you could be a gemini this also could be a, an ex lover um this could be somebody that you had a soul connection with this could be a sibling okay um it could be any of those things whoever this person is they're very two-faced it's gonna have been a two-faced person someone who's very superficial or narcissistic 
that's for some of you, not all y'all. It doesn't have to be Gemini. Okay? Just putting it out there. Because some people just don't know. Some people... Yeah, somebody here worried. You got somebody here worried about whatever you got going on. It says, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Somebody here is worried about some sort of outcome, some sort of change here when it comes to you and your life. This person might want to come in and communicate with you. Two big communication cards. But I feel like whoever this person is doesn't have the best intentions for you. This is someone here that doesn't want you to discover your hidden potential. Damn, for real? Someone here doesn't want you to reach your full potential? This, like I said, this could be an ex. This could be someone you had some sort of soul connection with. Family lover, business friend. Um, someone here doesn't like what you do for a career. Or somebody here is trying to do something in order for you to lose confidence or lose the willpower to continue persevering when it comes to your career. And the only reason why this person is doing this is because you're about to, like, you're about to get some sort of, like, breakthrough. That's what it looked like to me. That's what it looked like to me, y'all. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's going on? What do they need to hear at this time? They know it's a losing game. Or whoever this person is that's mad at you, maybe they're getting broken up with. Maybe they're going through a divorce. And they're upset because, you know, I don't know, something's going on. They're upset because you're doing well while they're going through some sort of like transformation. But it's like, I, I, what does that have to do with you? That's what I don't understand. What does any of that have to do with you? That's the motherfucking truth. What does it got to do with you? What does it have to do with you? We got triumph and success and abundance. That's a, that's the truth. That's what you mean. This is what you're going to be getting. Abundance. 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 Da -da 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 Wait, who sings that? Is that Nicki Minaj? A dun dun. A dun dun. <laughs> oh no, let me stop. <laughs> You're about to get something in abundance, okay? Here. Someone's gonna tell the truth, or you're gonna see something clearly about some sort of abundance here, or, or the fact that you know and you see clearly, like you see yourself clearly, that you are truly a limitless being, and you can manifest whatever you desire in this physical realm, is maybe why someone's mad. Maybe someone's mad at your mindset. Maybe somebody's mad about your clarity. Who knows, child. I'm also getting, maybe somebody out here was trying to make you look like, like I said before, what was it? Maybe someone was out here trying to get people to not trust you. Maybe someone was going out here trying to get people to think that you're two-faced, you're narcissistic, you're superficial or something like that. You're, you're, you're irrational. Okay. Um, you're, you, you do things in like an uh, immoral way or... Um, something like that like someone here was really trying to make you out to be somebody you definitely was not okay maybe this person gonna feel embarrassed who knows spirit can you tell me more yeah you're about to get recognition and reward the number 13 could be very significant for some of y'all you're about to get recognition and reward baby <laughs> or someone here can be born on 13th Someone here could be a life path one, life path three. Creative leadership. For some of you, you might be getting you might be getting presented with an opportunity to have some sort of like to be in a position where you are the leader of some sort of creative project, okay, or um, some form of campaign or uh, some. It's where you could showcase some sort of creativity or you'll have more freedom, more range when it comes to your creativity. Or there's something here, like someone here could be like a director or like a film person. <laughs> I said it so dumb. A film person. A director, I don't know what it's called, producer or something like that. Where like, um, it's like you have an idea, like a creative idea of a film that you want to create. And it's like you're finally going to be getting the opportunity in order to like direct it, like direct other people on uh, creating your vision into a reality in some way. It doesn't have to be film. It could be just something similar to that. Okay. 
You just need to keep persevering. This is why somebody don't want you to persevere. Because they know that you're about to step into something beautiful. They know that you're about to step into your greatness that's going to lead you to your legacy. That's the vibe. It's given. And I feel like we need to we need to say yes to the dress when it comes to that. Okay? We have, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Okay? And you can. Maybe somebody here is trying to send you energy to make you feel like you can't do whatever you set your mind to. But you definitely can, whoever this is for. Okay? Um... I'm also getting, you guys could be dealing with someone who's real arrogant. You got arrogant people trying to say you arrogant. Or you got prideful people trying to say like you're full of pride. Or you have like jealous people going around trying to say you're jealous. Or you got like greedy ass people who broke trying to call you greedy. And I'm not trying to shit on broke people because bitch, I, I was broke for a very long time. It's just, it's, you got to pick a struggle. Are you are you going to be broke and a hater? Like you got... <laughs> I can't. I'm just being for real. And I'm not talking about just about finances, being broke with finances. Like you're dealing with people who are broke when it comes to their own spiritual faith in themselves and what the universe can hold for them or can can bring into their life. These people are spiritually broke as well. And that's, that's the main problem because your mind, your body, and soul all have to be in alignment for you to truly be a manifester. And a lot of people like to stay in this victimhood mentality because they, it's easier to blame someone else for why they're not succeeding at something or why something is not having any progression. And I, I feel comfortable saying this because I used to be in that mindset. I understand. But there is a way for you to change your mind, reprogram your mind and how you think. At the end of the day, you really are the creator of your own universe. If you truly believe that you're not going to be able to achieve something, then more chances than not, you're probably not going to achieve it. It's like you can't have like you, there's only so many like motivational videos and people that you could watch. Okay, in order to pump you up to do what you want to do and to motivate you. But at the end of the day, it requires your action. You can't you can't sit there and be like, well, I listened to this motivational person and this motivational person, and I'm still at this certain stage in my life, and da da da. da. It all depends on you. It falls back on you. And that's like the harsh reality of what is what is what it is. I don't know. Why am I doing this? Let me keep going. Someone needs to hear this. Because taking radical accountability is, is key to your success. I'm telling y'all. And not giving up. Because most of the time, the people... Who feel like they failed at something the only reason why they failed and they weren't successful is because they gave up that's the only reason why why do we have um triumph and success there's so many stories that you hear nowadays about like um you know actors or celebrities that were told no and got the door closed on them over and over and over and over and over again and then to the point where they were like in their 40s in their 50s and then they finally got their 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 big breakthrough so you can't just sit here. I don't know who I'm, maybe I'm speaking to an actor or an actress. I don't know. Or, or one who wants to be one. Who knows? All I'm saying is rejection is part of the journey. If you can't handle rejection when it comes to what you truly want, then you probably don't really want it. Because it's going to happen. Just like when you're on this journey to, to creating your dreams and wanting to manifest, you know, whatever makes you feel fulfilled, you're going to have haters that come with that. You're going to have an opposing force. Like I said, like I always say, we live in a world of duality. Why do we have triumph and success? Where it's not like we live in heaven. This is called earth, not heaven. Why do we have triumph and success?
somebody the truth about somebody here trying to plan to get you locked up is coming out or some sort of truth is going to come out about somebody you know um this is giving me conspiracy to commit a crime whoever this person is whether this is like a spiritual crime someone was trying to commit um or physical 3d crime whatever this is someone here is going to get caught up maybe someone here is going to spill the beans about it and someone here gonna get locked up either in spiritual jail or 3d jail this is what it looks like to me and this is gonna be a big ass lesson this person has to learn for some of you this is someone here who could have been wanting to steal some sort of abundance from you they didn't want to work for it this person didn't want to put in the work this could have been someone here who was stuck in a victim mentality and felt like well I, I don't feel like they deserve it so I'm just gonna go take it that's probably what got this person in trouble. Something here about a Leviathan spirit could be of significance. That could be on this person. Okay. Um, or or like a, D, a Delilah spirit. Okay. Live and learn. Someone here is learning a big ass lesson. They got addicted to a losing game. Oh. <laughs> Confirmation. A Delilah spirit is a demonic spirit that the enemy uses to attack God's people. The spirits are named after individuals in the Old Testament. Okay, just like they, they named Jezebel. The Jezebel spirit, the, the Delilah spirit. Okay. Um, Delilah was, in the Bible, a Philistine woman who was in a relationship with Samson, one of Israel's judges. Delilah used her relationship with Samson to find out the source of his strength and betrayed him to his enemies. Both Jezebel and Delilah used control and manipulation to destroy God's anointed, but the outcome of their attacks was much different. It says where Jezebel wanted to use her relationship with Ahab to destroy God's people from a place of influence like a tyrant, Delilah wanted to discover the source of Samson's strength at an individual level and sabotage it. So for some of you, you got a Delilah spirit someone who who has who has this Delilah spirit operating through them okay um, trying to figure out what your strength is so they can stab sabotage it something here about your willpower something about your solar plexus someone's trying to figure out what keeps you going what keeps you persevering so they can sabotage it People are wicked. It says, um, those who partner with Delilah spirits want to sabotage God's anointed, remove their strength, and move on. Those who partner with Jezebel spirits want to attach themselves to someone more powerful so they can increase their influence. Mm. So something here about social climbers is of significance. You guys could be dealing with people coming into your life that are social climbers. Um, or you guys could be... Um, dealing with someone here who's trying to get close to you because they're trying to figure out what makes you tick so they can sabotage you and then that's it it's, it's the hatred they have in their heart yeah this could be a spirit that's harassing you Yeah, this person's gonna get locked up. Locked up. You guys can be seeing the number 27 a lot. We got 44 on the clock. You are lovable and you are deserving of love. <clears throat> Why do we have abundance? We have third wheel enemy. You have an enemy here when it comes to your abundance. Or you got someone here coming towards you acting like they want to be your friend, but they're really trying to do something behind your back. There's someone here that is distrustful 
this this could be someone who's going to be coming towards you very flirtatious okay so like i said before pda maybe you guys are going to be encountering someone coming towards you being like real touchy-feely you need to be mindful of this person because something here is being arranged. It's like an arranged marriage, an arranged relationship. But you have no clue it's an arrangement. Be mindful of that. Why do we have recognition and reward? This could be somebody here who wants to get attached to you in order to have some sort of influence. Because you're in an abundant energy. Your aura. Or this could be the Delilah spirit that wants to come in and figure out what your strength is. And try to sabotage it. We got adventure this is all about a new beginning you're about whatever you're passionate about whatever you're seeking for a lot of you you're a seeker of truth you're going to get recognition and reward for that okay something here about an initiation is significant when it comes to being i don't know this is a spiritual initiation is what it feel like Someone here is arrogant. You're dealing with a real stubborn, arrogant person. Maybe somebody refuses to believe that you really are spiritually connected or something. You're a professional. You're an expert at something. Expert level. I'm also getting like someone here doesn't think you're doing something organically. And then you don't you don't gotta prove nothing to nobody. We got a fury. Someone here gonna be real pissed, or they are currently pissed off. Someone's pissed off because you continue to persevere. They're really trying to figure out what 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 keeps you going. Someone here could be running out of patience. I also feel like there's a need for you to have patience because you got a victory coming around the corner. We have I accept that everything happens in divine order, and it do. Just continue being true to you, baby boo. Some coming in real fast. What was I saying? And for some of y'all, this thing that's coming in real fast could be love. Something here about the 18th could be very significant. You could be born on the 18th of a month. Okay. Um, someone here could be born in 1981. This could be you or someone on, someone else. Someone here could be born in 1978 or 1987. Yeah, you got someone here who's really mad because they ran out of time. And they're wishing and hoping that... You know, they could have done something differently or they could have believed you or something. Something here about Noah's Ark. History repeating itself. Someone here, you could have warned them about something or you could have tried to help someone out. And um, they didn't believe that you had gifts, maybe. That's why they dismissed you. And now they're wishing they did because now maybe they're living a fucking nightmare. I don't know. That's why they're mad. Who knows? I don't know why they'd be mad at you, though. That not make no sense. Another thing too, it's like this person really thought they were playing like chess, okay, when it comes to you, <clears throat> but they weren't playing with you, they were playing with God, they were playing chess with God, I'm not saying you are a God, I'm just saying like God fights your battles, so this person was trying to create war with you. God stepped in, okay, on your behalf when it comes to this battle. Because you surrendered. And now this person's in a world of trouble, or they're about to be. Why do we have triumph and success? That's why it's important to not, you know, always do things out of vengeance or trying to get back at someone. Because God, God will really put an end to some shit. Why do we have triumph and success? Because you, you're here to do something here. Yeah, we got public embarrassment. So whoever was out here planning to do something to you, like if this was like a literal um, crime that someone was trying to commit or uh, like a conspiracy to co uh, to commit a crime, to hurt you, to steal from you, whatever it is, they're about to get embarrassed. Like this is about to be exposed. Everyone's going to know whoever this person was who was strategically planning to do something messed up to you. Okay. Someone here going to be, maybe you're going to be called to go to court to testify against this person everyone's going to be pointing fingers at this person just like they were trying to have other people point fingers at you okay 
So whatever energy they sent you, they're getting it right back. Physical assault. Someone here could have been planning to physically assault you. The truth about that is coming out. Someone here could have been doing this because they feel like you're self-obsessed. Child, is this too loud? Probably. Let me turn this down. This person could feel like you're self-obsessed. Okay? Maybe someone thought you were, like I said, superficial, materialistic, um, narcissistic or something. But you're not. I also feel like this could be the person who was doing this to you or planning to do this to you is someone who has those types of traits. Tell me more, Spirit. Why do you have abundance? It says you will win in the end. No matter what this enemy here, this third, this third wheel enemy, this distrustful individual who's flirtatious, whoever this person is who is trying to block your abundance or steal it, transfer it, whatever, just know that you're going to win in the end when it comes to this. Yeah. And someone here could be a angry and upset because they know that you're unwilling to share. I'm also getting the only, another reason why somebody here is not receiving some sort of abundance or windfall here is because they're the type of individual that is unwilling to share. Sometimes the divine blesses people, certain people, because he knows that they are generous. And he will use them to bless other people that come on their path. Like that could be part of someone's purpose. Okay. Um, I don't know. Something like that is going on. Yeah, there's a whole there's a whole group, a whole mob of people very much upset about you getting something here. Some sort of windfall of abundance. There's a whole group of people in a tizzy about this. Okay. Why do we have recognition and reward? We have sitting, uh, shitting where you eat. So, uh, something about that is significant. Tell me more. Road rage. Damn. Okay. Someone here going to lose their shit, I guess. Easily distracted. Public attention. Whoever you are, you're about to get some sort of public attention here. You're going to have a lot of eyes on you. I don't know what you'd be doing, but you'd be doing something. Look at this. Showtime. It's going to be showtime, baby boo. Road rage. Someone here is going to be really mad. It could be literal. Don't have to be. Someone's really bothered by you. Okay, listen. For some of you, if this is the workplace that's real dysfunctional. Like I said earlier, that like they treat the company like they tell people in the company that you guys are like family and they don't have any boundaries. Somebody at your workplace could be one of the people that don't have fucking boundaries. And they could have been sleeping with another coworker or sleeping with the boss or something. They were shitting where they ate. And maybe they were doing this in order to, you know, climb up the ladder of success at the job or to get some sort of promotion and they're not and you are instead. And maybe this person is going to be real pissed off and bother bothered by it or something like this. This person could be like, I was over here on my knees. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I can't. This could have been someone being like, I did all of this. This is the person who was trying to take the elevator instead of the stairs by using their flirtatious ways or their lusty ways, man or woman, okay, in order to get ahead and, you know, you didn't have to do that and this is going to really bother someone. Yeah. I'm also getting be mindful of certain people. Whenever you get this recognition reward, you're going to have a lot of people fucking mad at you. For why? I don't know. But um, you're also going to have... A lot of people trying to lay it on thick to you and be like, oh, I want to be with you. Telling you sweet nothings, okay? Sweet nothings. Just to come in and use you when it comes to this new beginning. Overshare. Be careful of oversharing when it comes to this time period. Witch hunt. Someone here is trying to make you out to be someone who needs to be got or something. Or someone here was trying to gather a lot of people to go up against you to try to stop you. This could be past position. 
Why do we have um perseverance? But it could be coming up as well. Someone here could be trying to maybe you're gonna have there's gonna be some accusations made against you once you get some sort of public recognition and reward here. Someone someone here might cause a witch hunt against you. I'm going to keep that to myself. Okay, so we have Secret Crush. <laughs> Dope. Um, someone here has a secret crush on you, child. And they've seen you persevere. Okay? Someone here has been trying to um, stop this secret cut, crush from coming through. Yeah, this person loves what you do. The secret crush, they love what you do. They really love what you do. Um, the divine is saying, be easy on this person. Be easy on this person. Because for some of you, whoever this person is, this secret crush, maybe they, they have witnessed or they, they kind of know like what you have been through. I feel like this is like an individual that's been like sit like sitting from a distance, like watching what you got going on, like observing you. They they whoever this person is, if they don't know like your full story, they they could kind of get a gist of like what your story has been when it comes to your life. And they know that you've been through a lot. You had to pers persevere through a lot. So they know like trying to come towards you and, you know, ha having you put your boundaries down is going to be like work. They know it's going to be work. Like you're going to be a hard cookie to crack or some shit like that. I don't know. And the divine wants you to be easy on this person because I feel like whoever this person is that's coming in. The secret crush they really genuinely want to get to know you um this is pissing someone off too i don't know maybe the person who has recognition and reward is the person that is a secret crush and they like what you got they like what you got going on i don't know encore do me one more Mm, should I? Should I not? Maybe I shouldn't. Let's get out Big Birthday because I know this is probably going to be a long one. I don't want it to be, but let's see. Someone here might get a DUI. Maybe that's how they're going to crash out. Something here about being under the influence of Jerugs or alcohol. If, please don't do this. If you're watching me and you partake in the Jerugs or the alcohol, don't be driving, please. We have um, cops knocking on their door. So the cops are going to be knocking on someone's door here soon. They're going to be knocking on the door of a criminal. This is the person who had the conspiracy to commit a crime against, against you. This is someone here who's going to be publicly embarrassed. This is the person that has been trying to plan to get you to be assaulted. Okay. Child, who the fuck is this? Because I'm tired. I'm tired. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, who's this criminal? Who's this criminal? This person could have a lot of piercings or they could dress kind of edgy. We have dark skin. This person can have dark skin. Who's this criminal? This criminal could be a Gen Zer. They could be born in the 2000s. Whoever this person is, they could be really good with social media. This could be somebody here who's doing something illegal on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Who's this criminal? Or X, whatever you call it now. We have Libra. This criminal could be a Libra. Or the justice system is going to be cracking down on this criminal here. Who's this criminal? This person could be um, really emotional at this time. Because... Or they're going to become very emotional when the cops knock on their door. This person could be a white collar worker. 
something here about paperwork. Maybe this person is going to get in trouble for, uh, or, uh, for some sort of paperwork, some sort of fraud, some sort of forgery. We have Aries. This person could be an Aries or they could have Aries somewhere in their chart. Okay. And then we have a locked up. This is someone here who's going to get locked up, whoever this criminal is. Okay. This person is going to go around saying, oh, I made a mistake. This person could be blonde. Flip it where it needs to go. Maybe you're blonde. Maybe you're an Aries. Maybe you work at an office. Maybe you're a Libra. Maybe you're a Gen Z. Or maybe you have dark skin. Maybe you have piercings. I don't know. Flip it where it needs to go. I'm not your mom. I'm not your daddy. You gotta figure it out. Okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more. We have it's all part of the plan. Okay? Everything that's about to happen here, it's all divinely ordered. Okay, so stay patient. We have Libra out here. You could be a Libra or this is just justice coming through. Karma finding the address and whooping that ass. Okay? Or maybe that's what someone was trying to do to you. Maybe someone was trying to find your address to whoop that ass. Child, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more what's happening. Something here about your sister's friend could be significant. If you have a sister or someone's sister's friend. We have Uber driver. Someone here could be an Uber driver. This could be you or someone else. We have foster dad. Something here about a foster daddy is of significance. Um, maybe someone, uh, the no the knocks. The cops could be knocking on a foster dad's home, apartment, whatever. We have um, life insurance scam could be of significance. Okay. So it's all part of the plan with these people scamming. We have arrested. Someone here is about to get arrested. Someone here is about to get arrested. This could be an Uber driver getting arrested. Bottom of the deck. We have fake friend. So there's a fake friend here. Maybe you have a fake friend that's an Uber driver. Maybe they're involved in, in getting some sort of insurance scam here to go through. They're going to get arrested. Or maybe this is an Uber driver that's a fake friend of yours that um, lied and said that... I don't know. Who knows? Let me see what this is. Who's this fake friend? This fake friend of yours could be a Pisces. Okay, or this fake friend told a lot of lies. This could have been the person wearing that top hat, creating a lot of illusions and confusions. Okay, that's for some of you, not all y'all. Who's this fake friend? This fake friend could be a parental figure of yours that was telling a lot of lies. Okay, trying to stop your dreams. Okay, or something here about your fake friend and your baby daddy could have teamed up with each other or your baby mama. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Or your ex. That's for some of you, not all y'all. We have foreign. So, whoever this fake friend is, they could be trying to flee the country or something like that. Because they, they know they're about to get arrested. Or maybe they got arrested and then they got released without bail and now they're trying to run. I don't know. We have um musical. Someone here could be always listening to music, whoever this fake friend is. Or this person could be musically inclined in some way. Or something about music is significant where your guys' connection. We have smokers. Someone here could be a smoker. Whoever this fake friend is. They could vape a lot. Whatever. We have beard. This person, this fake friend of yours could have a beard. This person could have mental health issues. Ciao. Or they're about to ha have some sort of mental breakdown when they get arrested or something. Shit. Or maybe this fake friend was going around telling people that you have a mental health issue or something like that. That's going to be cleared up. I'm also getting any of these people that are about to get in trouble. They're hoping that you'll take it easy on them. Child, please. We have a headache. Someone here could have um, experiencing headaches or something like this. Or the cops could have already knocked on somebody's door here and now they're stressing out. We have voodoo. Something here about a voodoo situation is going on. Someone here could have done voodoo on you. Or if you're getting headaches, it's because of some sort of voodoo someone's sending you. It says, attentions are everything. So regardless if someone committed this crime or not, the fact that the plan of it, there's evidence of someone planning to do something to you, is enough for this person to get their ass whooped. Either spiritually get their ass whooped or get their ass whooped in the 3D. By getting arrested. Someone's first one or last name could start with a J. This could be you or someone else. 
Ciao. Justice is on your side, baby boo. We have coworkers plotting on you. So you have a coworker that's plotting on you to get you arrested, or they were. Something here about a corrupt church is very significant. Tell me more, spirit. We have wishes the worst for you. Death, loss of money, your life, whatever. Someone here has been wishing the worst on you. This could be a foster dad, a stepdad, a baby daddy. Somebody here has been wishing the worst for your ass. They feel like you're a headache. Okay. We have, it's because you be speaking the truth about something. It says, listen with your heart. You will understand. Let it break upon you like a wave upon the sand. Quay, quay, nahura. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> Oh, okay, listen. Listen to your heart, okay? Listen to your soul and what it's whispering to you at this time, okay? Listen to it. Maybe when it comes to your mother, maybe your grandmother is, is trying to tell you about what your mama's doing. I don't know. That's for some of you, not all y'all. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, your mother be doing voodoo on you? Is that what that is? Or someone's doing voodoo on a mother? Or to prevent you, prevent you from being a mother? Your mother could be a drinker? Ciao. Or your mother could be sending you voodoo, or someone sending someone voodoo so that they could be, uh, so they could be drinking or something? I've been drinking. Maybe that's what somebody wants you to do. Maybe someone's trying to get you to be um, arrested for DUI or something. We got greed, okay? Something here is all about greed. Everything that's going down right now is because of greed. You guys could have had a greedy Uber driver that's getting arrested or a coworker that was plotting on you, did something out of greed. Okay, we have Forrest Gump. Interesting. Okay, so earlier today, the scene in the movie with Forrest Gump where like he's running when he's doing the, the his own little running across the country thing. Um, the part where he like has that yellow shirt like the guy gives him and like he wipes his face and then the guy he gives it back to the guy and the guy opens the shirt and it's like a smiley face and then like Forrest Gump tells the guy like um he says like shit happens or something like that and that became like a whole slogan that this guy used to put on these t-shirts with a smiley face and he became like, you know, it became real popular. I don't know, something like that could be happening for some of you. Like there's something here that you you need to listen to your intuition about and act, take action towards it. Because it might turn out like something like that. Like, um, I don't know, something's going to take off. Something's going to gain some sort of pop popularity by you just being you or something like that. But we get that Forrest Gump here. Okay, someone's w someone's wishing the worst on you because you just kept running. <laughs> I can't. We have a paid mechanic to mess up your car. So someone here could have paid a mechanic to mess up your car. You might find out about this. This could have been a codependent sibling that was involved in doing this because they because of greed. Maybe you're gonna find out a codependent sibling of yours could have teamed up with a co-worker of yours to plot against you because of greed to take some sort of abundance from you we have lied on the stand so someone here could have lied on the stand about you maybe someone said that i can't i'm not i'm not going there someone said something was wrong with you that's all i'm gonna say child someone could have been trying to say you're handicapped in some way Okay, but you a rising phoenix. You came back with a vengeance and they didn't expect it. Someone here thought they, they beat you down to the point where you would never get back up, but you did. And you came back stronger and louder and prouder. We have loud laugh. Someone here can have a loud laugh here. We have cruel intentions. So you got someone here who has very cruel intentions for you. This could have been a foster dad. Don't have to be though. It says you're an earth angel, whoever you are. And someone wants to know why you can't, why can't you be normal? Child, please. We have DUI. So someone here is about to get a DUI. Whoever this greedy person is. This could be a coworker that's about to get a DUI or a codependent sibling or both. It says I made a copy of your keys. So someone here could have made a copy of your keys to something. 
to get access to something in order to have cruel intentions against you or maybe this is what they're getting caught up with maybe someone found out like maybe authorities were watching these people with these cruel intentions towards you and maybe they they found out that these people had a copy to your keys or something like that to something like your apartment your home your car whatever this is and they were planning on doing something here to you ciao tarot card reader unstable person so someone here could have been saying like you're unstable because you're a tarot card reader you must be mentally unstable karma's a bitch someone here is about to get karma i'm also getting for some of y'all your co-worker could be a tarot card reader that's probably mentally emotionally and financially unstable and that's why they decided to be a part of this bullshit but karma's a bitch okay what's this we have nasty someone here could be pleasuring themselves to your pictures whoever this person is this could be your own foster dad this could be your foster dad that's doing this that's what it's under that's what it's under foster dad that's for some of you not all y'all um or this could be like a step dad or somebody we have leo this could be a leo for some of you or this is something that's about to get illuminated maybe you're a leo and this is something that was happening to you flip it where it needs to go baby boo but it's about to be illuminated that you are indeed are a rising phoenix someone wants to come in now and say why don't you love me anymore because they couldn't defeat you and they're experiencing fucking karma <sighs> people actually let me get these what the listen this card just jumped out on me when i went to go grab these be careful you got someone here who's gonna like pop the question to you but this is the same person that's coming in with the why don't you love me anymore this is also under the greed and the arrest so be mindful of that cruel who's this person with these cruel intentions someone with the cruel intentions could have the chinese zodiac sign of the roost who is this person with the cruel intentions? New connection for some of you. Someone's sending in a new connection to you with cruel intentions for you. Be mindful of that. This could be a new person that's being sent to you. An arrangement is being made. Or maybe that's what's being exposed. That someone was arranged to come towards you in the past. You dodged a bullet with this person. Why do we have cruel intentions? We have feminine energy. For some of you, you have a feminine energy here that has cruel intentions for you. That could be the one who's being sent in. Flip it where it needs to go. We have friend, acquaintance, or coworker could have cruel intentions for you. We have goat. Someone here who has a Chinese zodiac sign of the goat could have cruel intentions for you. We have mirror. This is someone here who's... They could be doing mirror magic on you. They could be scrying through a mirror, okay? This could be someone here who's um, wanting you to mirror the same experiences that they're going through, okay? I also feel like someone here could be doing all of these cruel things to you or wanting to because you and another person's energy is mirroring each other. And they know that's a telltale sign that something, some sort of reunion is coming through. Or some sort of faded meeting is coming through. We have tiger. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the tiger. So yeah, you got you got the goat that could be um, have cruel, cruel intentions for you, or you are someone who has the Chinese zodiac sign of the goat. A feminine energy could have cruel intentions to, towards you, or your feminine energy, or both. We have friend, acquaintance, or coworker could have cruel intentions to for you. This new connection. And rooster or someone here just has cruel intentions for you because you are going to be having a new connection with someone and they don't like that and they're going to be getting karma that ass is getting whooped holy spirit holy angels what's this person's karma what these karma what's the karma these motherfuckers don't get there's something here about that illuminated thank you we have struck in with laziness and a lack of motivation for some of you, this is something that maybe someone was trying to send you, this type of energy. Trying to affect your strength, your willpower. And now it's hit, it's backfiring on them. It says, being blocked from divine counterparts and soul family. This is what somebody wanted for you. 
This is what they wanted. Tell me more, spirit, what's happening? Like, someone wanted you to be isolated and alone. They wanted you to be, like, having no human contact. Listen, haven't you guys noticed that, like, when I upload my premieres, like, for the past month. Well, not the past month. Maybe the past two weeks or something. My videos have been, um, all choppy and fucking weird in the beginning. You know what I feel like? I f this is what I personally feel like, what that is. Is that... It's like a, I don't, I think it's just like an energy that's been, that's been sent intentionally to, to get me to not do premieres in order for us to connect. Like not just, just the community. Does this make sense? I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. We have unrequited love connection. We have suspended license. So someone here is about to get a suspended license, probably because they're going to get pulled over for a DUI. Okay. We have suffering from spell work done on them. So someone here is going to be suffering, okay, from this spell work. Um, someone here was constantly doing spells so that you can only run into love connections that are one-sided or imbalanced. It's going to start happening to them. We have uh, surrounded by monitoring spirits and flying monkeys. I'm pretty sure for a lot of y'all, you've been feeling this energy. Okay. That's going to dissipate. Tell me more. Something here about spiders and gnats. For a lot of y'all, you guys could be... You guys could have been seeing a lot of that. Or you're currently seeing a lot of that. It says watching you living your best life. So someone here is going to be... Their karma is to watch you live your best ass fucking life. Because they were trying to destroy your life. It says being beaten by their own games. They got addicted to a losing game. Ah. <laughs> oh. It says their true character being seen by those they respectively heard it, hit it from. So whoever this these individuals are, this individual in particular, for some of y'all, this could be your own damn parent. Okay? For a lot of y'all, it's your own, it's always the people closest to you, child literally um but anyhow whoever this person is they could have fooled a lot of people around them to make you really appear as someone who's like the bat the villain in the situation but people are going to see the truth and these people who are going to see the truth that agreed with this person who was who was putting you under dis duress and stress and burdens unnecessary burdens they're gonna they're going to feel guilty um i don't know someone also is gonna find out that they're not the father to someone's child or you're gonna find out that your father is not really your father maybe some of you gonna find out that you're fucking adopted that's for some of you not all y'all when i was growing up my older sisters would always tell me oh you're adopted you're not even part of the family Meh. but i don't know if they're just being mean like they always are or or it's truth whatever um that's for some <laughs> that's for some of you not all y'all we have prone to jerug addictions maybe someone here was trying to get you to be on the jerugs ciao Especially if you're somebody here who's a recovering um, alcoholic or addict. Maybe someone here was trying to send you that energy. People are sick. It says injuries in or near water due to attacks by water spirits and demons. So someone here, I don't know. They were using water spirits against you. Lusty demons, huh? Demons of the lust. Think I got addicted to a losing game. Whoa. <laughs> I gotta stop. <laughs> uh, actually, before I keep going, who is this fucking. Okay, let me slow down on the cuss. I'm a cussing. Who is this co worker that's plotting? So this co-worker that's plotting against you could live in the country. They could be um, from down shelf, okay? Or they could live from the southern border of where you live. I don't know. Uh, co-worker that's plotting against them. 
Or this could be someone who likes country music or they like country western style. We have uniform. Someone here could wear a uniform. Coworkers potting against you, they could have they could wear a uniform for work. Their job could require it or this coworker has connections to someone who has a uniform. Okay? Maybe they have connections to a security guard. Maybe they have a connection to um a policeman. Uh someone who works for Amazon, UPS. I don't know. Um, we have Taurus. Your coworker who's plotting against you could be a Taurus. Tell me more. Who's this coworker that's plotting against him? This person could be a Virgo. You got a Virgo here who could be plotting against you. That is a coworker. Tell me more. This person could have long hair. Who's this coworker that's plotting against him, Spirit? This person could be very short. This person could be a nature lover. This person could have speckled skin or moles. This person could be driving around your house. That's creepy. We have fresh as a motherfucker. Okay, so something here about your swag. This could be a coworker that's jealous of your swag, the flavor you have, the favor you have on your on your life, the God's God's favor on you. Maybe this is the coworker that's doing this. Ciao. This is for some of you, not all y'all. This all could be about some sort of romantic situation here. Or they have connections. For some of you, maybe you have a coworker. This is for some of you, not all y'all. Maybe you have a coworker that knows who your ex is. Or they they have connections with your ex. Or they're working with your ex to plot against you or something like this. Whoever this coworker is, they could have drugs. They could be addicted to drugs or something. Or they're trying to get you... Oh my god. Or someone here could be trying to get you to be in contact with, with drugs like fentanyl or something. Y'all need to be careful right now. Who's this codependent sibling? Your codependent sibling could be a blue collar worker. They could work with their hands. Who's this co- Thank you. Your codependent sibling could be a Libra. Who's this codependent sibling? Your codependent sibling could be a Scorpio. For someone out here, you got a codependent sibling who's a Libra Scorpio cusp. Who is this codependent sibling? This codependent sibling could be a Pisces. Or this codependent sibling could have been going around spreading a lot of lies about you and confusing people about you. Trying to get people not to trust you. Um, this is the same codependent sibling that's trying to evade the country. Okay, or they're trying to get out of something. This codependent sibling could have a mental health issue going on. Okay, or somebody's parent does. You had a codependent sibling that definitely was trying to seek some sort of revenge against you. I'm also getting a codependent sibling could have been going around telling people about like your sexual history or something. Something like that could be significant. Someone here is trying to get you to lose hope. I'm also getting like you and your sibling. This is for some of you, not all y'all. Because some of you don't have siblings. But for those that do and you know your sibling's a freaking weirdo. they, You and your sibling may have two different types of belief systems. Maybe you're more spiritual, they're more traditional. Or maybe you're more spiritual, they're an atheist. I don't know. Whatever it is, um, they don't like what you believe in. Or maybe you're going to turn these people into believers. Because someone here is getting arrested. Maybe they didn't think that they were going to get arrested. Maybe you warned them, like, don't fuck with me. I don't know. Let me see. Who getting arrested, Spirit? Or not who getting arrested. What are they getting arrested for? For not listening. They're getting arrested for not listening to the fact that you have a new beginning here. And no matter what they do, it's going to be a losing game because you have already been granted some sort of new beginning. There's nothing they can do about it. Ciao. I'm also getting something here about money. There's, there's money on the line somewhere in this situation. Someone here does not have any regret for the crime they committed against you. Tell me more, spirit. 
We have vibe clearing. It says you need to incorporate a regular habit of using protection herbs, sage, palo santo, etc. to cleanse and clear negative energy from your surroundings on a weekly basis. So you're just being asked to cleanse your energy because you got someone here sending you a lot of negative energy. It's just what it is. We have love spell. It says someone is casting love spells to win your love. Okay, so someone here is trying to get you to fall in love with them. But this is somebody here that you were in a trauma bond with. They want you to be addicted to their toxicity or something. Or addicted to their validation, family, lover, business, friend. It says return to sender. Yeah, whatever they try to send you has is, is been returned. It says with energy work, cleansing, and prayer, what they did to you will be sent back to them wrapped up in a bow. We have assistance. It says someone is going to a magic practitioner to get help to cast a spell on you. So this is what these weirdos are doing. Just cleanse your energy. I feel like for a lot of y'all, you already did this. And if you haven't, you need to. Tell me more. What else they need to hear? We have binding spell. Someone here could have been doing a binding spell on you. What was I saying? What was I saying? Tell me more. They're trying to dominate you. It's not going to happen. It says all in your mind. It says you're clear of psychic attacks and the evil eye during this time. Continue cleansing your energy. Whatever they send to you, it's not going to touch you. Okay, just continue cleansing your energy. It's, it's all got it got automatically returned. Like I said, these people think they're in a war or in a battle with you, but they're not. They're in a battle with the Most High, the universe. The God is fighting your battles right now. That's why shit is getting instantly returned. We have thief magic. It says someone is out to take something that is yours. This could be love, money, energy, etc. Someone here is out to take things from you. You got thief. You got a thief around you. And they're addicted to trying to take from you. It's even though they just keep getting blocked and blocked and blocked and blocked and blocked and blocked. They don't care. This person has a weird obsession with you. Thank God I'm addicted to a losing game. Okay, should I do the shells? Uh -huh. Yeah, let me do them. It's gonna be short though, okay? This is gonna be loud. uses an epi pen someone here could be uh 23 37 Someone here could be born in 83. Someone here could be 33 years old. Someone here could be 38. Ooh, we got 333. Whoever you are, you're in perfect, align perfect alignment, okay? On your journey where suffering will dissolve, okay? Someone here could be born in 88. Someone here could be 54, 55. You guys could be seeing that number a lot. Someone here could be a life path 4. Someone here could be 45, 43, 48, 42, 47, 49. Someone here could be born in 96, 93, 98, 95, 94. Okay. Yeah, there's something here about a bribe. Someone's going to fess up about uh, accepting a bribe. Cuz they don't want to they don't want to get in trouble or something or they don't want to go to jail or they're trying to get out of jail. Someone here could go to CSUN. This could have been a college student. The motto. Something here about someone's motto with for life. I don't know. 
or something here about someone's motor maybe somebody here paid a mechanic to mess up your motor to mess up your car this is for someone in particular something here about contact solution is significant Or maybe a mechanic was propositioned or was offered to do this to your motor, but they never did or something. And they're going to tell someone, I don't know, someone here could be from Kentucky, Tennessee, Montana, New Mexico, Arizona, yeah, PDA, public displays of affection. Someone here could have recently eaten ribs. Or someone here could have broke your ribs or something. Cracked your ribs before. Someone's name is Ruben. Someone's name could be Ruby. Someone here could be Armenian. Or Arabian or something. Arabic. Arabic. Why am I saying that wrong? Um, someone's name could be Marie. Marie. <laughs> Maria, I love you. Someone's name could be a Maria, don't have to be, or Marie, or Mary, someone's name could be Mary. Someone's name could be Marty. Why do I keep picking up a bunch of Back to the Future references? Maybe someone here is wishing they could go back to the, back in time. And they, someone here is wishing they could have done something differently, handled the situation differently, um, said something to you differently. I don't know. Someone's name is Lori. Someone's name could be Lorna. Lorna. Someone definitely could be an Aries. Someone's name is Arnold. Someone could be an Aries. This could be you or someone else. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't know how to say this. I can hear it in my brain. Someone here can have a blood a blood cancer that affects their plasma in their bone marrow. Myeloma. Someone has that. Myeloma. I don't know. Someone's name could be Eugene. We got rise again. This is all about your your ascension, your rebirth, rise. We got Chris. Someone's name could be Chris. We got Pose. I don't know. Someone here strike a pose, I guess. I don't know. Someone here could be a model. I don't know. But we got po Pose or Poise. Maybe there's a need for you to stay poised when it comes to a situation. Okay. Maybe you're about to find out some sort of shocking news here soon. Um... Someone's 
name is Lance. So someone's name is Lance. So I hear about skiing. Skiing. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Um. I don't know who this is for, but there's someone. There's a. There's a masculine energy, a man here that likes to be uh, defecated on. That's involved in somewhere here. <laughs> Mr. Pooh. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Someone's name could be Serene, Serena. Someone's name could be Annie or Anne. Someone's name could be Donald. Noel. Someone's name is Noel. We have Noah. Someone's name could be Noah. Something here about a no a nose job could be significant. Or someone here is real nosy. You got a real nosy individual all up in your business. Be careful of the nosy person. They're the person that has the Delilah spirit. This person could be an air sign, air nosy. Or someone's nosy. Maybe this could be a nosy person that's trying to hear what you're talking about. Like, uh, what is it called? Those people that um, eavesdrop. This could be an eavesdropper who's in your energy. You could be the air sign that someone's eavesdropping on. Flip it where I need to go. But someone's real nosy in your energy, okay? We have RX. Something here about prescription drugs is significant. Someone's name is Naomi. Someone's name is Rose. Someone here owns a horse. Something here about ketamine is significant. Someone's name could be Chloe. Chloe. Something about dairy is significant. Someone here could have the Chinese zodiac sign of the ox. Someone here could be from Oregon. Someone's name is Nadine or Nadia. Mm -mm. Something about a corpse being found. Someone's name is Rodney or Rudy. Someone's name is Mia. Someone here is trying to dox someone or something is orca orthodox. Someone didn't follow some sort of procedure that's traditionally done <clears throat> when it comes to a corpse is what it looked like to me. Someone's name is Matt. Someone's name is Leah or Liam. Someone's name is Daisy. Someone's name is, oh, I said that already. Mm-mm. Y'all need to be careful about who coming towards you with this romance energy. We've been getting this warning, but just so you know, we got romance. We also got the word Roman, so... Mm. The person that's being sent to you likes, likes to have their booty played with or something like that. 
nothing against anyone who likes booty play but this is <laughs> i'm just letting that be known okay something here about apple this could be your temptation apple roman apple this is this is temptation here or something that's being sent towards you be careful something here about the company dior could be significant something here about new york is significant. someone who watches me is a model someone's a model you catwalk you do something maybe you got some weird man coming towards you or woman whatever you're into and they're they're being sent literally from the devil because you're about to go from one situation to another one phase of your life to another that's for some of you not all y'all someone's name is ryan Someone's name could be Gorman. Ricky. Rick. Nick. Eric. Tori. Okay. I says the the letters aren't out here, but I heard Winslow. Doris Pam Pamela Irma Something about the moon Someone here could be a more. What does this mean? Something here about Appalachian Mountains. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Appalachian Mountains. Where is this? This is on the East Coast, I guess, of North America. Something about that could be significant. It says N Nashville, Pittsburgh, Cincinnati. Those places could be significant for some of y'all. I don't know. I don't know what these mean. Appalachian Mountains. Appalachian Mountains. <laughs> what does more mean? A tract of open, uncultivated upland, a heath, a little town in the moors. And then it says more came to mean anyone who was Muslim or had dark skin. Occasionally, Europeans would distinguish between black Moors and white Moors. One of the most famous mentions of Moors is in Shakespeare's play, The Tragedy of o Othelia? I don't know. The Moor of Venice. I have no idea what this means. What's the tragedy of Olathe? Is that what is it? Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. I'm probably butchering that. I'm not so good with the English. Let me see. Copy. See, now we're going down a rabbit hole together. <laughs> it's 144 on the clock, baby. You guys could be seeing that number a lot. Um, it's a tragedy written by William Shakespeare around 1603. The play is about the downfall of Othelio, a Moorish general in the Ven I don't know what this is. Something army who is manipulated by his ensign Lago into believing his wife is unfaithful. Oh. 
Maybe that's what happened to y'all. And some major themes in the play include racial prejudice, manipulation, and jealousy. What the fuck is going on? Oh, I guess Denzel, Denzel Washington's in this movie? I didn't know that. What movie is this? Oh, it's a Broadway. Interesting. Oh, this is happening next year. Okay. Someone here could have lied and said that you were unfaithful or something like that. That could be coming out for some of you. Maybe that's the truth that's coming out and someone's mad about it. Um, because now they're seeing you in a whole nother light because you're an angel, an earth angel. <laughs> someone's name could be Dana or Dana or Danny. Randy. I'm not saying it. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Okay. Let's end this. And then I'm going to bounce. Mm, let's do these. Let's do these. And then I got to go. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What do they need to hear at this time for their highest good? And then we have shame. It says, you've carried this burden for too long. Or for far too long. It's time to release the guilt you have placed on yourself and start a new chapter in your life. Set a new goal and begin taking action towards your happiness. Don't allow shame to hold you back, child. You waited too damn long. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more what's going on. We have pause. It says you're being asked to pause before making a quick decision and moving forward. Allow yourself to step back, look at all of the possible outcomes, and make sure you're headed in the right direction before moving forward. So there's a need for you to pause and reflect. Okay. Ooh. We have walk away at the bottom of the deck. It says you're wasting precious energy on something that will not bear fruit. It's time to turn your attention to things that are more aligned with your soul's purpose. So I don't know, maybe you guys are spending a lot of time on a person, a place, or a thing that is sucking up your time, okay? And it needs to be released. It says release attachments. It says there's something you need to let go of. It's either a limiting belief, an untruth, or a negative behavior. It's holding you back and keeping you, keeping you from stepping into your true potential and your happiness. Let it go. Okay, go out there and be the best that you, the best version of you. Okay, so you can reach your your full potential, baby boo. And for some of y'all, it's gonna require you to walk away from a person, place, or a thing, or a, an ideology, or a, or a a lie you keep telling yourself. Okay, listen, y'all. This is gonna be the end of your reading. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Until next time, I love you. Okay, bye.